Poly means many, which means it has many terms. And while this might be the formal definition, by the time you get to be a senior, you still won't remember what it is. Okay. Now, these terms are made up of pieces that look like 3x squared. If I take 3x squared, do you guys know what the number in front is called? called a Starts with a C, coefficients. They can be any kind of number you can think of. Okay, that's just a number. This number here is the exponent. And we'll talk about what an exponent means. But you can add up 3x squared minus 5x to the fourth as much as you want. Here's the rule on the exponent. It must be a whole number. Okay? That means no fractions, no decimals, nothing. Jeremy, those have to be done by now. Go, just go bugger for it. Okay? If you know that, that if you have x to a whole number, you're talking about call a polynomial. If you have only one term, it's called a monomial. Back in the day when we had music, <laughs> um, we had stereo. We didn't have stereo. Uh, oh, do you remember what it was called? A mono, mono something. But you didn't have the stereo. And the stereo, if you listen to your speakers, you get some kind of music from one side, some other instruments from the other side. That's stereo. You didn't get that with the original music. All in one, yeah, it always it was the same both ears. I know, you can't imagine it, can you? <laughs> a record player? <laughs> yes, it is. Besides me. Well, I can. Okay, you guys, what does buy mean? What does by mean? Two. two. That means it has two terms. <laughs> Trinomial. Three. three terms. You can have a, what would you call a four terms? A, quad a quadrinomial. Okay. The most common ones are the monomials, binomials, trinomials. We're going to be dealing with these guys. Now, how do you do the problems? They're pretty easy, maybe. Now, even before I do that, no? Let's add a page and let's understand what 3x means. What does 3x mean? It means 3 times x, which, what does it mean when you multiply? It means x plus x plus x. So if you have 5 times 2, that would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's what multiplication is. It's repeated addition. And if you understand this, you'll get the, the exponents different from the coefficients. So what does x cubed mean? It's x times x times x. So if I took five, instead of five times two, if I did five squared, a lot of people say it's 10, but that's not right. It means what? Five times five. So what's an exponent? Well, that's, this is what somebody decided to do. I think it's clever too. Well, it's just learning a language. This is a language. Okay, so what does an exponent mean? Lalo, what does an exponent mean? If a number in front of a letter means a repeated addition, this means repeated what? What operations here? Multiplication. It's a shorthand. 
Not until I'm done. Yeah, it won't be long. You can take forever. Uh-uh. I said not until I'm done. I would have said no. I didn't. She's not, she's not in this class. She's not doing this material. It's not your concern. So if I have 10 to the third power, what does that mean? Right. Do I want to write out 10 times itself three times? No. No. You could. Okay, now, so this is repeated multiplication. How many x's are multiplied? Two. Do you see the difference between that and it's not x plus x? That would be what? 2x. So what we're going to do, and you guys should have seen this unless you're new this year. I don't know what, where you're coming from, but um, you're going to take the numbers in front and just do what it says. What does it say to do with these two numbers? And I can switch the order all I want. So what's 4 times 5? 20. You should write this down on your, on your PDF. Focus. And then it's how many X's, you guys, how many X's are multiplied together here in all? No. This, I have two here, right? And how many here? Three. Count. Five. What's the easy way to do that? You add the exponents. Some of you went ahead on that review sheet, so I knew you knew what you were doing, so this shouldn't be too bad. You have to think to yourself what's happening. These are not being multiplied. That looks different than this. In fact, let's do both problems. That's a different problem. Totally different. So to do this one, let's multiply the negative 2 and the 9, and that gives me what? Negative 18, and I forgot, because I have new people, to tell you that calculators are allowed on everything. Everything. Now, how many x's do I have multiplied here? Four. Four. And, yeah, but all together, we're adding up how many were multiplied, so how many were there? Seven. If you know that about exponents, I'm happy. Can I add these? No, because there, it's a box that says x cubed on it. Another box is x to the fourth. While they're alike, they're not alike. They look alike, but they're not. This you can do nothing with. That's it. This should be review for a lot of you, is it? Okay, that's good. Now we're going to distribute. Lucas. So I'm going to write it out. The reason I'm going to write it out is I want you to see what happens. Guess where they make their mistakes in calculus? It's not the calculus. It's right here. What happens when I multiply 4 times 1x? That's 4x. And it's distributive property of multiplication over addition. Multiply these out. 2 times 1 is 2. But then you have x times x. x squared. That's all there is. But if you have a question, ask. Lindsay, is that okay? Okay. So what about this one? No, no, no. Let's write it out. It's x squared times x squared minus. And then I'm going to do this one. 6x times x squared. You can, if you can go right to the answer, I'm okay. What's this going to give you? No. What's 1 times 1? Multiplying the numbers in front, the exponents count up how many x's were added together, so it's 4. Minus. Nope. Can't. They're not the same. They have to be exactly the same. I, they have to be identical twins. They're not. Okay, what about this one? That's 6. I have x to the first, x to the second. How many x's are multiplied? Three. This number tells you how many were multiplied. This tells you how many were added together. I know it's confusing. And I think that's it. Oh, no, we got, oh, we got a hard problem. I think that's it. Okay, so copy that down if you have, um, come on. If you don't have a, you don't, don't have this and try it.
Can I separate these? Oh, yes, I can. I like that. I think the second one's easier. Hmm. Why is the first one hard? It has a fraction. It has a fraction. Okay, Ray, you're not going to know how to do this. Good. How do I do this one? Now, so I don't go too fast, I'm going to write out what it is. It's negative one-half x times what? Ray, you need to sit down, please. Times what? Four. Plus, then it's what? Do this one. It's negative one-half x times what? No, we're doing this one step at a time. Negative one half x times eight x plus because you're gonna make mistakes. Everybody gets the gets to be multiplied by negative one half. X times a negative ten x squared. I don't know, I'm not simplifying it, I'm just doing it. Now can you do this? Mariah, what's this one? We are. I'm out multiplying it out first. What's one half of four? Two x. Is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Okay, we're going to multiply these together because that's what it says. They're just numbers. Minus four. And Ray, how many x's multiplied together? Ray. Three. Well, just look right here. How many x's are multiplied? Three. How many X's do you see here? Three. One, two, two three. One and two. I don't see don't put the other parts with them. It's only two. Terms are separated by adding and subtracting symbols. So it's two. Now, what happens when we multiply the negative one half and the negative ten? That's plus. Plus or minus? Plus. Plus five. Now you have. Now put the one in if you don't see it. And then uh, three over. I have one there, two more there, so it's three. That's what we're doing. We're going to start multiplying binomials tomorrow. That's harder. They may not be harder for you. We'll see that. Okay, so let's plan on this one. Okay, Lalo, question? Now, do you want to just go to the answer, or do you want me to write it out? It's up to you. It's 2x squared times, this one's easier because I don't have fractions. Just so everybody sees where it's coming oh, from. Okay. I said, you know, we don't have to. Okay, I'm going to put this in little like brackets here because that's my thinking. So it's negative 8x to the what? Four. That's an exponent. Exponent. That's where we finish this problem. And what's this going to get you? Mariah, you tell me what this one is. Negative 2x, how many? Three. three. And then the next one was negative 10x squared. 10x squared. You know what? How many x's are here with this 5? Guess what? That's what a zero exponent means. There are none there. Yeah, means 1. Okay. That's it. And so the worksheet looks like this. I don't know if we'll get it done in the class time. Possibly, because it's not that long.